Hello everyone and welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn. Um, picking up right off the last one, just finished recording the first episode. I'm having so much fun with this and I just want to keep going. Let's keep playing. Let's keep figuring out what happened on this ship. Um, so we're still here in this uh, third vision. Third? Fourth? I think this is the fourth vision actually at this point. Um, where we're seeing our amazing martial artist captain uh, beat the crap out of this guy with this stick. I believe we've recorded this event already. Yep, he was clubbed by the captain. And we found this person in here. Don't know who this is. We will hopefully find out soon. Otherwise, let's, uh, let's just head back to reality and keep going. All right, okay, and now this door is open. So we still have the person that was in the bed, but there's another person here. Um, this door is still locked. I assume that's what the X means. There was no one out here. Yeah, so let's let's check out the person in the bed. Okay, so the person that was in the bed apparently uh, was on the deck and was killed, looks like, probably, by a kraken tearing down the mast of the ship. That's the mast, right? No, I guess that's the mast. Some pole on the ship. And just smacking her across the face with it. Um, oh man. And the captain is apparently not here. We have this lady protecting this other lady. This guy. My dude, I don't know that that's going to do much. Oh, there's our swirl. Let's get a little information about what's happening here. Yeah, this is in Chapter 7. Everything up until now has been in Chapter 10. Okay, who is this and how did they die? Well, they died... by being... brushed? by rigging. We don't know who it is, though. Oh, wait, no, we do know. It's, uh... It's the captain's wife or something. Unknown steward, interesting. Uh, okay, Captain's wife doesn't really have... Oh, here. Abigail Witterell, passenger. Because our captain is Robert Witterell. This may or may not be correct. Dates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates and their fates to have the information typeset in the book. Okay. Where is the captain? I want my husband. Where is he? I'm... Interesting. I'm not sure... Yeah, okay. So this is the captain's wife. Which makes sense, because then she was lying in the bed in the captain's quarters later after all this. 
The corpse was moved post-mortem. Yeah. The corpse was here, but she actually died out here. Um... Why do I have my watch inside of here? Where's my door? There's no magic door back to reality. My guy seems to be freaking out. Oh. seem to have accidentally released a ghost? Okay, so that's a thing. Um, let's put a pin in that. <laughs> what? And I want to come back and go back in here real quick. Because I didn't get a chance to look around properly before my guy started freaking out. Okay, and there's my door back to reality now. So let's see, I mean... I guess that counts as collapsed rating, right? We don't really see anyone else dying right now. Door's locked. And we apparently released the ghost of this guy to show us his body back in reality. So let's go, let's go out here. And so that I don't get thrown off my path. We'll go check him out in a minute. I want to check out this guy first. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me. Okay, so the captain, after taking a knife to the gut and slaughtering all these people, killed himself by shooting himself through the heart. So this gives us um, how the captain died. But we also learned an interesting point. He said he shot her brother. So this, this guy, is Abigail's brother. Unfortunately, we don't know who that is. Because we don't know Abigail's maiden name. I don't think. Okay, so we now know the captain's fate. He was... Uh, suicide with a gun. Captain Witterall shot himself. No one else was present. But now 
We know this, not this guy. This guy. Let's see, maybe Hoskett is her maiden name? William Hoskett, first mate. That's her brother. Well done. Three fates correct. Boom! Captain Robert shot himself. William Hoskett was shot by the captain. And Abigail was crushed by falling rigging. Okay. Okay. So, uh... No. Okay, so these are like permanent, permanently etched in now. And we know these are true. All right, we still don't know who these two guys are. Um, but I think we've worked with all the information that we have so far. So let's head back to reality. Four people have died in that chapter so far. Okay. Um, and then we want to know about this guy. Oh my. Ooh. Okay, so we have three unknown people over there who are just getting dumped into the ocean. Our ghost boy got split in half by the Kraken. Oh, he's got pretty distinctive tattoos on him, doesn't he? No, I want to the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Yeah. Um, wait. Where'd our tattoo boy go? Uh. Wait. Like, it was super distinctive. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, we have no idea who he is. We just know how he died. Let's see. This guy is trying to grab his gun. This guy may also... Oh! He probably is throwing the gun to him. You seem to have a goat on board? This guy is just trying to hold on. Who is this? How did they die? Okay, well, they got torn apart by a terrible beast. Yeah? Yeah. We have no idea who he was, but we can t we know he was torn apart by a beast. Oh! Got another ghost. Was
I'm I'm not a huge fan of this ghost mechanic. Like it makes this super linear, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but it's awkward because I'm like, you're taking me out of that vision to have me come know that this guy's here. But I'm like, I'm not done over here yet. There was so much more to look at over here. I'm not ready to go look at this other guy. Okay. Where were we? He's throwing the gun to him. He's trying to hold on. Okay. This guy, we apparently turned into a ghost. He's got a gun. What are you doing? He seems like he sliced off a tentacle. But he doesn't seem to have a sword or anything. Which is interesting. This guy's trying to spear the beast to save that guy. Let's see. Anything else? some people hanging on the rigging. Wait a minute. We've seen you before. This is the guy that was jumping off the front of the boat. The second guy that the, or the third guy that the captain killed. The guy the captain killed with the stick. Interesting. Okay, I think I think that's everything here for now. So let's go check out this new ghost. Is it like I'm on the fence about it making this like you go over here and then you look at this ghost and once you once you've looked at that ghost it'll give you this ghost, which presumably will give us another ghost, like Linearly leading you through the ghosts is not a bad idea. The only problem I have with it is it kind of takes me out of context of what I'm doing. And, like, it would be way more interesting if all these bodies and all these ghost puddles or whatever were just all over the place. And then I could just go to each one and do them in whatever order on my own terms. Rather than it kind of giving me a glimpse and then interrupting me so that I can go to the next one. What am I looking at? Some kind of explosion? And there's a person in there. Some guy we haven't seen before. I think this is the guy that was trying to hold on in the last vision. This is before the last vision. Because here's Tattoo Guy, who was getting split in half. Okay, so this guy we know died in an explosion. Uh, okay. Anyone else here? There's our reality door. Hold on. Okay, we know how he died. He got exploded. But we don't know who he is.
No new ghosts. We just have a reality door now. That's nice. Let's see, is there anyone else here? Any? You probably died, I assume, by falling into the ocean. I can't imagine very many people that would have fallen into the ocean would have gotten back on the ship afterward. Okay, that's Tattoo Guy. And we can't go down here. I guess that's it for now. Oh, the hold is open now. Um, let me come over here. Is this guy still here? Yep. Okay. Let's... <clears throat> see. Let me make sure... There aren't any other people I've missed up here anywhere. No one in this bed, no. That door is locked. I think this room was empty. Yep. This room's empty. We did this room. We did that room. Okay. So I think, for now at least, unless we can climb the rigging? No. I think we're done on the main deck for now. Oh, did I go up there? Where's the, uh, where's the steering wheel? Isn't that where that's supposed to be? Oh, it's down. No. Wait, is this it? I don't know. I don't know how boats work. Let's head down into the hole. See what's going on down here. So if we look at, uh, oh, uh, Q. Here. If we look at the deck plan. So we've, oh, interesting. We can see a timeline of events. Here's the explosion. Here's Tattoo Guy getting ripped in half. And then here's uh, Abigail getting smacked in the face with the rigging. And then here's the brother being shot, the captain killing the guy with the knife and the stick, and then shooting himself. Interesting. Okay, so that is everything we, we were able to find on the main deck. So now we're going down to the gun deck. I guess these feet prints are us. So let's see what we can see now. The, uh, the light was interesting. At first I thought that I saw this and I'm like, is this camera lit? Uh, that's bad. Nope. No, it's not. Okay, I can't really seem to interact with anything other than doors. And it looks like if their keyhole has an X over it, they're locked, so I don't even need to try these. Can't open any of these or anything. Nope. Okay. So, we have a body here. Let me look around a little bit more before I... Go in there. There's that weird star-looking thing out there again. Something ripped through the side of this. Let's see what's going on. There. Come on. Gotta click twice to open. 
Interesting. I'm not sure what that is, but oh, excuse you. Nothing in there. Suddenly. Okay. How about the doors on this side? Oh. Okay. We have one person in here. No one in here. We found two bodies so far. Here's some stairs up to the main deck, although they're closed. No one in there. Lots of empty space on this boat. That door's locked, apparently. Toilet. Gotta have your bathrooms. And that looks like it. So my guess is, although we have only two bodies, I'm guessing we're gonna see... Oh. What's this? Interesting. It seems they were likely stabbed. And then the stabber probably came out here, dropped the knife, and wandered off this way. Either that, or this person was stabbed, was walking along this way, pulled the knife out of them, and then collapsed. We will find out momentarily. Check this guy out. Well, that doesn't look good. Well, I don't see a Kraken up there, so that's good. Okay, we got a couple guys falling down the stairs. I just want to look around and make sure I'm not... Ooh. Okay. Just want to get a quick look around. I know we're mainly, mainly focusing on this guy, but... Okay, this guy clearly got crushed by the cannon. I mean... Is there another... There is another person there. This guy's leaping over stuff to try and help the cannon guy, I guess. Hold on. Okay. Um, this is the guy we're directly interacting with. So he got crushed by a cannon. But we don't know who he was. And we have a ghost. We have the ghost of this guy. Let's just let's just get this there so that I can ignore it and get back to looking around this scene. Okay. Back in here. All right. So we have the ghost of this guy, and we'll find out how he died. Is what am I looking at? It was like the top half of this guy's body ripped off? What? What am I looking at here? There it is. This is Top Hat Guy, apparently. 
I'm pretty sure the top half of his body is missing. This guy was probably crushed by a cannon. Where are you? Somebody. We're starting to load a cannon. There's our reality door. Won't let me. Okay, so we have to actually find the body. We can't, like, we can clearly see that this guy was also crushed by a cannon. But because we haven't found his body in reality, we can't tell the game that. So let's not worry about that yet. So I guess. Probably so that we don't have to keep going back into the older um, visions as much. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Bit of a sneeze there. Um, so that we don't have to keep going back into these older uh, visions after the ghost kicks us out. But we, the way we probably want to do this going forward is we take a look at a particular vision figure out why the main target of that vision, or how the main target of that vision died, and if we can, who he is. Um, and then we just call that good. And that's all we're going to try and figure out about that one. There isn't much point in looking at other people, because until we find other people's bodies, although I'm a little surprised that other guy's body isn't right here, um, we can't tell the game why they died anyway, so... All right. Well, it looks like I'm about out of time for this episode. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun. I do apologize if the commentary is a little quiet or a little um, obvious. Uh, it seems to be a somewhat linear game, although hopefully uh, kind of talking through my thought processes, my thought process and kind of the things that I'm seeing uh, is somewhat entertaining. Hopefully we can kind of walk through uh, this mystery together. And I hope you're enjoying it. I really do. Um, so leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like this game. Tell me if there's other games you would like to see me do. Um, I do read all the comments, and I, I really just want to make sure that the content I'm putting out is content you guys are really enjoying. So I want to thank you all for watching. Um, if you'd like to see more of this or more of other similar uh, games, please hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the new content as it's coming up. So once again, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.